Hi guys, wanted to do a, a little update for you, a video update to show you uh, the new uh, dashboards, just so I can show you them in action as it were. Uh, we've got these two new dashboards uh, coming, um, which are really cool and have been much asked for over the last couple of years. Um, so uh, I'll just jump in, uh, keep the video short and just show you what, what we've got going on. So if anyone uh, might have noticed that uh, Cassie here has got these two rather uh, lovely um, line rifles uh, shoulder mounted uh, on the back of her combat suit which is really really cool um, but we don't have any kind of shoulder mounted um, uh, equipment until now so um, <clears throat> anyone that's played core space before with our dashboards might notice that there is um, two little holes on the back of here um, which don't seem to serve any purpose. Uh, but we knew when we started making these a couple of years ago that uh, we wanted to uh, have some kind of interesting attachment. And uh, yes, that's what you guys are helping to bring to life right now. Um, so I'll just explain how they work. We've got um, one of these dashboards here. This is our little uh, combat dashboard. Um, and then we've got this little utility dashboard here um, and you'll get you'll get a couple of little clips here as well like so um, and what you do is you can basically um, connect them on uh, through these little slots so I'll pop those in the back of there like so do, 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 be, do, be, do. one two and then they locate in the back of there and it means that when you've got your um, your character, so we've got uh, there we go. We've got uh, Cassie here. We've now managed to unlock this new area. Now the one I've got in here is the combat one. <clears throat> this is really cool. It doesn't give you any additional space for equipment. What it does do, it allows you to have some kind of body mounted equipment on there. Now later on, it could be something. Uh, well, we. we not later on, but now we're going to include, um, haven't got them here, but we're going to include some exosuit ones. Uh, that allows you to put a, a very large double token in here, um, something that can't be carried, um, and you would buy that, and it would unlock some of the potential on here. Additional ammo and uh, even shield in here as well. We've got these, um, these new blue pegs that go in here, and you will have a shield ability in conjunction with you know maybe extra ammo and so on and so forth so um that's really really cool um but we have to show you right now i have got the shoulder shoulder cannons and as an example so what you would do you would purchase one of these shoulder cannons um for a whopping 32 uh 32 ua um and it's uh that would pop in there that would be one shoulder cannon mounted on cassie's right shoulder or your trader's right shoulder uh, and that would unlock the ability to basically put ammo all the way down this side. Um, and actually with these shoulder cannons, they're really cool. Um, they have kind of like an overwatch facility, uh, which means that when you're not playing uh, and another character on the board, um, uh, enemy char character on the board moves, you have the option to um, uh, fire once and basically target that character outside so you've got to imagine these cannons are independent they're searching targets and if you give it, give it the nod it'll take that target out even when it's the enemy npc turn for example um, now uh, you've got that now you've also got the ability certainly with cassie is to have a couple of these in which case you would get that double benefit uh, of extra ammo down here um, which is really, really, really cool. Um, of course, if you mount both of these, you're not going to be able to use any kind of shield ability. So you might say, "Well, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with just mounting this and get the ammo down this side, and then I'll use this side as a uh, as a shield module, which will uh, which will be one of the things that we'll include, and this will give you this shield ability, which is something that will um, obviously uh, add to your health. Um, and there'll be some interesting rules about how overpowering your shield and you know how it affects your health etc which is really really cool um, so that's the combat one 
uh, we will we've got these these items here plus some some other new weapons and some interesting equipment to take into consideration the shield and the ammo uh, and we've got some exo suit tokens here as well that we're going to put in here which will give you some benefits here um, and because of uh, the size of some exo suits it might be something that causes maybe some of this tray to be blocked out with a counter so you've got this kind of balance between the two but yeah so that's the utility um, dashboard very very cool um, really excited about that particular uh, one the next one we've got is um, this little um, uh, this is the utility one this is the, uh, the, the, the the utility one which has got the um, that one's a combat one this one's a utility one and <clears throat> This one has got space. So, for example, you might, and again, it's got the holes on the back, etc. Um, you might want to uh, put something like this bandolier in here. Um, and what that does, that allows you to, um, to hold nano items in this area here. So, in addition to your normal combat um, equipment tray, sorry, on your normal dashboard, um, in addition to this space you've got here, You've now got this space here for nano equipment. <coughs> Excuse me. So, for example, you could, I'm going to pop some items in here. Just quickly pop those in there. Dooby dooby doo. Let's see what we've got here. Um, uh, let's use that as well. So, here you can see I can hold quite a lot of, uh, uh, of um, nano items. And the beauty of um, using nano items in a tray here is because it's on a bandolier um, it allow it, 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 it's very easy to achieve you can grab an ammo clip straight off uh, of your belt and just sort of chuck it straight into um, into your gun so you can you you can't hold anything bigger than nano items in here but you can use these nano items um, as an effortless action at just in exactly the same way as they were as if they were on here because they're so easy access on that bandolier so you can see here I've got a couple of little throwing knives which have got the really cool little poison uh, for example so it's really nice to have some throwing knives on a belt and just be able to efforts action just like chuck those off at someone at a moment's notice um, if you need them but it doesn't take up this all-important space that you've got here um, you can also see I've got an ammo mag that I could load very quickly. I'm even holding a nano objective in there, so I can I can I can I can stow away an objective without leaving space, you know, without losing some space here, which is really really cool. Um, just as an just to show you as well, I have also got a target laser in here. Um, I would not benefit from the effects of that target laser whilst it was in here. Okay, um, so if I've got a weapon here, I would need to have um, I would need that target laser in here. Um, with that weapon if I wanted to gain the benefits of that target laser. So you can see the pros and cons of this little bit of space here. That's if I've got like this bandolier uh, or utility belt or whatever. Um, <clears throat> now, another token you might put in here would be the much requested backpack. Here's a backpack. Now what, you, what can you do with the backpack? Well, of course, as you can imagine, you can put, as it says, all, you can put anything you like in there. So you can put this great big combat sword and maybe you've got this pistol that you're not using at the moment and you've even got space for, you know, um, an ammo clip. You know, uh, there's almost a full tray worth, uh, equipment tray worth of space that you can get into that backpack, which is really, really cool. And of course, if I remove this big gun, I can put some more blue in there, some armor that I found and I'm not using at the moment. Um, you know, and I've still got, I mean, I've, I think I've even got room here at the top if I wanted to put one of the little ruined stones that you now get um, in your, um, in your uh, pledge. Uh, that comes with a little console, um, I could fit one of those in there and really max this out. So the backpack's really good. Unlike the bandolier though, you wouldn't be able to use the items from here. So if I want to reload that ammo, ammo mag, I'd need to spend an action to kind of shuffle through my backpack, um, take it out and then use my um, effortless action to reload or my action, effortless action if you've got certain skills that allow you to do that because you're trained in them. Um, so um, you can see here that the advantage with the backpack is you can really carry any shape of item that you want, whatever you want to put in there is fine. However, um, you just won't have access to it as easily as if it was in your equipment tray um, compared to if you had the nano one, in which case you'd have access, but you really can only carry uh, nano items as it were <clears throat> so they're, they're they're your two kind of really cool um, uh, you know dashboards as it were and you'll see here that these items can also be carried 
here. So if you, you know, you can carry one and take it and give it to somebody else and so on and trade in game, etc. You can still do that. You just can't use it while it's on its side. These counters only work when they're facing up this way within this particular tray. In the same way as you can carry a backpack. Um, as it were, you just won't benefit, you won't get the attachment onto your dashboard if you're going to do it that way, if you're carrying it in this particular way, as it were. So, um, so yeah, really, really, really excited about um, these particular dashboards. Uh, I did have a lot of fun uh, taking a crew in, um, testing some of these uh, cool things, um, setting somebody up a tech with um, a backpack, for example, and sending them out like a mule to really focus in on the uh, the the money side of the you know collecting the uh, to uh, money to help me trade in the trading phase, um, <clears throat> and taking Cassie in with one shoulder and two shoulder cannon really allows uh, for a really fresh way to be able to um, target enemies in their own turn. You can literally, you know if an enemy is going to come in through a door at you, you know you're the closest enemy. And being able to not worry about that, or at least to get a shot off of that enemy, doesn't always work, um, but uh, that was a real great mechanic um, and it really adds a little bit of fun um, to uh, your dashboards and your crew in general. So um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you those, um, some, some, some cool new stuff there with the backpacks. We've got this shield mechanic coming and we've got additional ammo and overwatch things and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. Um, I'm, I've been enjoying playing it and uh, you guys are as well, without a doubt, it's super good fun. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoy that, there's more to come. Um, so uh, we're gonna fill that up with um, lots of different uh, little bits of cool new equipment and uh, you know it's not just shoulder cannons there's other equipment that will go in there and you've got some exosuit-y kind of stuff coming uh, you know imagine something like uh, Elysium where you've got this kind of thing going on anyway it's all really really cool and I could talk about it for ages and ages and ages which I won't do I'm gonna let you get on and uh, for once try and uh, deliver a very short video okay so until the next one happy gaming <laughs>